Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a tutorial. I did a poll um, a couple days ago and I asked what kind of videos you guys were interested in and surprisingly, you guys are more interested I think in tutorials and reviews. Obviously you like the reviews. Um, and they, we have a lot of conversations when it comes to me doing reviews and you know what I think about products and we share ideas. But you guys definitely wanna see tutorials. So I wanna bring that for you today. So that's, what, that's where this video is going. Um, if you're new here, my name is Anna. I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. It's a snowy day. Um, and I kind of feel like doing a red lip. So I have some makeup on. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, how to wear a red lip, where to kind of correct the face and everything. And we're gonna keep it simple and soft. Um, yeah. So, for starters, I am just looking at my skin right now, and I need a little bit of coverage. So, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to bump up my coverage right now. I'm going to actually take the Milk Flex Foundation, and I'm going to apply that just like in these areas here, just to kind of perfect the skin a little bit. Whenever you're wearing a red lip, you definitely want the area around your mouth, especially, to be kind of like crisp, clean. Because what happens is you have a red lip and then if you have any other areas that are red, it's almost gonna highlight everything else around. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just putting this over top where I have some redness. This is, in case I didn't mention, this is the Milk, yeah, it's a Flex Foundation. I'm in the shade Light Beige. This is a nice little find that I found at um, TJ Maxx. Because I always wanted to try this foundation, but I just never got around to it. And I think it was like $8. But it's great. Like it just, it melts into your skin. Very nice. Now my skin was already prepped before. So I'm taking this, I'm just pulling back because sometimes when we're like in the mirror like this, we don't really see what's going on. So if you pull your mirror back and kind of just go around like that, you can see a little bit of what's going on. And now as I'm pulling back too, I can see that my face is starting to be more even. So I've canceled out any redness that I had. Great foundation, highly recommend it. Next, I'm going to set certain areas of my face. I don't want my face to be completely dewy. And there's certain areas when you do put makeup on that if you're kind of oily or you do get a little bit dewy, you want to set. So I'm trying out, this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I have the shade Medium. It's my like second time using it. So we're going to try it out together. And I'm taking it on my... Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. Now, I know this brush can be a bit dense. What I'm doing is I'm gonna hold it from back here and I'm gonna show you where I like to kind of powder. You never wanna look overly shiny here because then it looks like oily. So you always wanna get like the sides of your nose above your lip because if you're <laughs> too dewy there, it looks like you're sweating. The chin. Definitely this like area here. Right, because we want this area to stay dewy. Um, this part down here, not the, the, it doesn't bug me really. So you kind of go like that, just like that. And I'm gonna use this a little bit to set underneath my eyes. And I'm taking that, and I'm just. I like to go against like the green, like this, going in towards the nose. Same thing. What's this? I know there's a ton of like tutorials and hacks on how to like get it from not creasing. I just want it to stay in place. This is going to help to prevent the creasing. But at the end of the day, um, when you're using a cream product, it's going to crease. That's the, like, that's in its nature is to crease. So, and I'm not going to put setting spray and all that stuff underneath my eyes. That's, it's way too much work. I'm too lazy for that. Just being honest. All right. So. I don't know what blush I'm gonna use. I may end up using the lipstick, like I typically do. 
eyeshadow. I'm going to keep it very, very light. And I'm going to use, this is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick. This is a new purchase for me. It looks really, really pretty. Look how it like catches it. But I'm only going to use it on like the lower lid of my eye. I'm going to get in. Because I want a little bit of like, I guess like a glow or like a little bounce of light on my eye. This feels very, very creamy. And I'm gliding it on my eyelid. Very easy. See, just like a little pop. Just like that. Now I had on mascara, but I think I need to add a few more coats. So I'm gonna use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and I'm just gonna like go over top what I already have. It's easier to apply this over my eyelashes now that I've already had mascara on. Because like the lashes are so stiff, you just kind of layer it on top. Alright. The one thing that I'm seeing that I definitely need is a little like bronzer because I'm so pale right now. So let me pull a bronzer. Hang on. Alright, so I'm going to use my Soul Body Medium Dark bronzer. I haven't used this in a while. <laughs> so let me just load that up on the brush. This is a great bronzer. It's very creamy. It blends nicely too. And I like that it comes in so many colors. So I'm just going to like lightly bronze up my face. And I'm doing this more just for some like dimension and some warmth because I don't want it to compete with like the red lip. But you see how I just, I need it a little something. See, if I pull back, you can see like the difference. Same thing on this side. Let me switch. I can't, I can't do it like that. And I always like to take the bronzer like, I don't want to take it under my cheekbone. I want to take it, like, almost on top on that corner. And blend it. Just like that. And then, of course, I want to, like, match that up to my forehead. Because I need warmth there. And I have a pretty big forehead, so I'm going to make it look a little bit smaller. And then I'll take like the extra and just kind of rub it over my nose. Just like that. So now there's, there's warmth. There's, I'm not just like a blank, overly even canvas. All right. Now for the exciting part, I'm going to do the red lip. Today I'm going to be using the Maybelline, what is this? Color Sensational Matte Lipstick, and it's in the shade More Scarlet. So I'm going to take that. Now, apparently this is like a very like vibrant color. It's not supposed to be heavy, and it's like a super matte. So I'm curious to see. I mean, the color does look really beautiful. So we're just going to go for it. I'm going to start lining my lips. And...
That is extremely vibrant. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is bright. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's very bright. That is a gorgeous color. Okay. Super vibrant. Wow. Okay. <laughs> See, I like a red lip because then I don't have to do everything else with my eyes. I can just kind of do the lip. My eyebrows are filled, eyelashes like coated, and that's it. Now, let me see. This is bright. I don't know. I'm going to try it as a blush. Let's see what happens. I'm just taking a little bit. Yeah, you're going to want to go with a super light hand when using this as a blush as well. This this is super colorful. So I love to use my lipstick as a blush because especially when you don't know like what to use, just take your lipstick. It's like the easiest blush lip combo ever. See? Like if I pull away, you could see, and it, it all goes together nicely. So I'm going to take a little bit, again, on the other side. And just tap. Just tap, 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 tap. Super pretty. See, now I look like I did a lot and I didn't. <laughs> One of the easiest things with makeup, I swear. It's lipstick blush. Um, and then I'm also going to try on this. This is from Black Opal. They're now available at um, Ulta. So they have these two colors. This one's called Birthday Suit and this is a lip and cheek kind of combo. So I saw this and I was like, ooh, this is pretty. They had this one in like a pinkish one, which I'm like, oh, I should have gotten it. But I didn't. When I go back, I'll probably get it. I'm going to use this as a highlighter. So I'm going to just take it to the tops of my cheek. Let me just blend it out. It definitely goes nicely with the um, bronzer that I used. And it's giving me a really beautiful glow. So, there you have it. Let's go into natural light so you can see everything that's going on. So hang on. All right, so I just came into natural light so you guys could see. I have a bit of an overcast today because it is, um, it was snowing. So here it is. Look at that really pretty glow from the uh, lip and cheek color. And this is the more scarlet color. It's so vibrant. Oh, I missed the spot. So super pretty. One of my favorite go-to looks is a red lip for sure. So there you go, a nice, simple, classic red lip. I like the way this feels. It's light and it doesn't, doesn't feel drying, which is interesting. It feels actually like moisturizing. It's so interesting. That's a very beautiful color and it's so vibrant. I can't get over how vibrant it is, but. So th this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, please feel free to leave them down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.